95% or more of the time, a standard steel return roll is more than sufficient. Um, it's going to cover your applications for just about everything. Where you start running into problems with the standard steel return is in handling highly abrasive material where you're getting carry back that you can't control and you're getting wear on the return rolls, um, wearing the shell out prematurely. Or if you have substantial tracking issues and the interface between steel and rubber just isn't enough friction to keep your belt tracking in the way that you want to track it. So when you run into those applications, we have solutions to, to resolve them. Um, we offer, of course, the rubber disc return roll, which is going to have a longer life than the steel return roll. Um, it's going to have a rubber to rubber interface, which gives you a little more traction as far as training the belt. The downside to the rubber disc return roll is if you do have tracking problems, the belt can track over and fall down inside of the rubber tires because they stand up uh, about an inch and a half or so and then the belt won't track back over, so it'll get trapped in place. So you have to keep an eye on it, you have to maintain it, and you have to stay a little more focused on it. Our Eurothon roll is an um, improvement over that in that it's urethane contacting the rubber, so you have a little better coefficient of friction as far as the tracking, but it's substantially more self-cleaning and it's a lower profile that will let the belt track back over if it does fall down inside of one of the urethane tires. In those applications for carry back, uh, the rubber disc return, but primarily the urethane return are going to be your biggest solutions to keep from liberating material and maintaining the tracking of the belt on the return side. As far as uh, if you have a substantial amount of carry back and it's a wet application, again, your, your belt's dripping wet, the spiral urethane installed uh, shortly after the head pulley, the first two or three idlers after the head pulley, if you put in the spiral urethane as a cleaner, that return roll is going to do a good job cleaning the belt and then follow the rest of the way down the belt line with our regular urethane return roll. Those are going to be your best options for handling the normal support of the return side of the belt. As far as the training of the belt, we do offer training idlers, uh, self-aligning idlers, and those are going to be installed on longer runs of conveyor where tracking may be an issue uh, due to the conveyor being slightly out of line or you know, um, the belt uh, having a bad splice or just having some belt damage causing it to track over and then back. But by installing a return trainer, that will help keep your belt centered up and the Cadillac of the return trainers is our Navigator return trainer. The, the Navigator is the premier training idler out there. Um, if you can't get a belt to track, I recommend putting the Navigator on.